here with Barnard Outdoors. I'm out camping. Testing out my roof basket here. This is the first time I fully loaded this thing up with stuff. I got uh, I got some wood, and then of course I've got uh, my camp kitchen box up there as well, which I, uh, I did do a strap to secure that, just to make 100% sure. And then uh, I've got the mesh around it here. This, uh, this roof basket worked really great. So I'm out here at another state park, and wow, there's like nobody else here. I'm in the tent area, this is great. Um, was out of here a couple weeks ago with a friend. We were looking at spots. So we decided that this spot was gonna be best for us because we both have Gazelle T4s, which are big tents, and then we bring a lot of tables and camp kitchens, and we've got other, uh, other people coming out here with us. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I just need to start unloading. Um, it's pretty easy to get stuff into the basket on the roof of the car. Getting it out, I think is gonna be a little bit of a more challenge because I gotta lift it up before I pull it out instead of just slide it across. Wish me luck. I got everything set up and, uh, and it looks great out here. I mean, I just finished cleaning the fire pit, which was a mess, but I thought I'd give you a quick tour of my campsite and how I have things laid out. Here are our chairs and tables. Over here, I've got uh, my speaker hanging so I can listen to some music. I've got a lantern. This is just a, like an atlas strap or a hammock strap type uh, setup, and I've just got it clipped around the branch up there, and it works good for hanging stuff on it. Uh, this tree I did wrap with some lights here, and uh, these are the empowered lights. Hey, just a little extra light, especially around the camp kitchen area. I've got my cooler. I've got this bag here. This is my pantry pack, and I'm going to be doing a video on that. A Dometic water jug should be familiar with my camp kitchen box if you watch my channel. And then over here, I got myself a new stove. I've been looking at this, and uh, this is the Coleman Cascade 222, and uh, I wasn't really gonna buy a new stove i didn't need one but i i like the features on this and then i found it on at rei for a ridiculous sale amount so i just had to get it because it was uh way below the retail price but it is absolutely great and uh, over here i've got my gazelle t4 tent you can see i've got it set up for two i've got my uh my cot there in the back a little bag of clothes at the foot of the cot my table uh eco flow power supply a uh, lantern and then over here is sally's sleep setup where she's got a blanket a sleeping bag and a pillow and i just roll that up so it's out of the way until it's time to go to sleep the other thing i added here you know there are pockets everywhere in this t4 but i found these at rei as well these are little bags that they're designed to attach to a pack or pretty much attached to anything but they work great here so if you have something like you want to put your phone here or something, a smaller item, you've got a secure place to put it. Got one of those over there as well. I am trying out a new fan here. And uh, it's kind of an interesting, it's a smaller fan. It's a clip fan, but it's variable speed. So you can control the actual speed of the fan, if I had it plugged in. You can control the speed of the fan, so it's kind of, infinitely variable it's got a got a knob on the back there so i thought that was pretty nice it's small i don't have to worry about the the blades getting dinged up because they're completely protected i will see how well that works i do not expect it to work as well as my nine inch fan which i still use uh, i just was a little limited on space in here since there's two of us so i wanted to try this one out and we'll see how it goes the weather here it's great today i mean right now i think it's about 75 and uh, overnight, it's gonna get down to mid to low 50s. So it's gonna be a great night. This is a perfect time of year to go camping. And uh, we're definitely looking forward to this and enjoying a weekend out together. Uh, the other thing I did here on the four corners of the Gazelle, I put some of these little uh, gear aid. These are like a glow in the dark fob. And I put one on each corner, uh, kind of helps let people know that you're approaching the corner and the tie-outs are there. If I wanted to, I could put them down at the bottom of the tie-outs or halfway down. 
And then of course I've got my light system here, which I use, which lights up around the tent, a little solar panel there. But it's gonna be a great weekend. I cannot wait to just sit and relax. Actually, since I'm all done setting up, I can sit and relax until it's time to make dinner. So I'm trying to do camp outs every month this year of 2023. Um, right now I am still on track. So if you like this type of content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about any of the gear I'm using here, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And uh, as always, subscribe so you can see more of these adventures with me. Thanks everybody for watching. Mm -hmm.